like this. We tip bottles for the homies who can't be here with us. Well, let's go down a little bit from the whole rap game to just the local rap game. So, cause someone asked also, what do you think about that whole fucking Bay Area mentality? How you know people say it's hard to come out of the Bay because no one wants to work with each other, help politics. Uh -oh. How's that been oh, for you oh, and your experience? Oh, oh, oh. I know you've got some shit to say. Bro, that right there, that's another, that's another, that's another factor right there as well. Like, you know, you'll have certain people from one area that you know fuck with you, but then it'll be other people that you wouldn't even know that'll be like, oh no, we can't fuck with you because the mother niggas fuck with you, or because oh no, you fucking with, or no, matter of fact. The mother niggas that we don't fuck with is listening to your music, so we can't fuck with you. Mm, like, fuck damn. that, it's out. It'll be shit like that. That's crazy. But, you know, politics comes into play, and then that's when you get a whole lot of gang banging, and then you get a whole lot of set tripping, mm. you know, and just a whole lot of bullshit. And it sucks, and it's sad because, you know, motherfuckers can't, can't even, you know, get a break. When they trying to make make some local shit happen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's almost Shit's like, crazy. damn, you gotta, yeah, like you really have to overcome just that main obstacle, and that's just saying fuck it, fuck who fucks with you, and just focus on who's looking at you. Mm -hmm. Feel exactly. what I'm saying? You got the it's right people looking at you. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. It don't matter how many people. Fucking with you or not, because at the end of the day, everybody gonna have an opinion on you. Yeah. It's all about, all right, look, do I got these people looking at me? Fuck, what am I gonna, what is it gonna, what is it gonna take for these people to like notice me or even watch my shit? You feel me? Because you yeah. want, like, that's everybody's goal. They wanna be recognized. Yeah. They wanna be noticed. They wanna be seen by somebody that they got inspired by, right? That's mm -hmm. their main goal uh, over anything. Fuck making it to the top. Mm -hmm. If your motherfucking idol don't say you a beast at what the fuck you do, who the fuck is you? Hmm. I never thought about it that way, actually. That's a point right there. Think about it. Think about it, bro. You always want you always want to be better than the person you're inspired by. Hmm. Facts. Facts. Okay. Facts. If you really want to overcome some shit, try to be better than the person you're inspired Damn. by. Fucking, so, alright, so you were on the talent show, take it back to when you were at the talent show, what was your, how did you, yeah, what was your next step from there that pushed you into making, how did you go from talent show to uh, recording music? Uh, shit, I kind of just, you know, I love the feedback, I was just like, shit, man, people thought I was good, I should really, like, head to the studio now, that's the, that's the next thing, you mm -hmm. know, I didn't already got around people of my age so now i got people that's older than me and you know just from wherever i don't know where the fuck these people from these <laughs> people's families and shit saying that yo you raw like what okay. i don't even know these people so i'm like oh yeah i need okay. to take this to the studio for sure for sure and see who else i can get to listen so you know i hit to the studio and like the first engineer i started to fuck with Shout out to uh, I'm Deaf. If y'all don't know who I'm Deaf is, he is or was Ezel's fucking um, just uh, main DJ. Literally, if y'all don't know who Ezel is, then stop watching this. But damn, okay. You got the hookup. So you start fucking with him, and that shit hella motivated. Yeah. Mm. Hell yeah, bro. I started fucking with him, and uh, he got me hooked up with. Uh, some people down at, um, but I don't know if the shop is still open up or not, but uh, shout out to uh, Seven Boutique, man. Seven Boutique, that's why I really used to, like, record my music and shit at, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, that shit used to be, like, my home. Seven you know, Boutique? My goddamn, my dojo. Damn, okay. My dojo. Went from that. But before, before all that, like, what really caught my eye and attention about this, like, you know, how, how, like, his engineering skills, dude, let me plug my phone up real quick, mm. I don't know if I can die. but, uh, his engineering skills was just, like, off the chain, bro, okay. like, literally off the chain, like, bro, at first he asked me, like, how you want your voice to sound, I'm like, regular, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. like, all right, I got you, I'm gonna mix and master this shit real quick, he literally, 
he is the only engineer to this day that I know that can mix and master a whole entire song within five minutes. Damn, within five minutes? Sheesh. Yes, yes, bro. Yes. Yes, I, I, I promise you not. I kid you not, bro. I kid you not. I kid you not. I was just like, what the fuck? Man. And like, bro, my first song I dropped with him, it was, uh, the fuck was it? Bro, I don't even know. You see, I didn't got so many Man. songs, bro. I don't even know my first fucking song. That's crazy. Man, you got a catalog like, out. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I damn it, I was hella count, man. <laughs> Been in and out of that motherfucker. Kind of feel like Jay-Z did, but nah. Mm. But, uh, but yeah, bro. Um, you know, my first song. I liked it, but then at the same time, I didn't like it because it was too long. But like, um, I did too many verses. I did three verses on that whole song. Oh yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? And these my they weren't no regular like you feel me sixteen. I'm talking about twenty fours. Oh. So I'm like, fuck. Damn. Bro, the song was too long. I'm like, damn. All all it was was just gas. Mm. And he was like, bro, you was gassing like. Damn. Just gas. I'm like, all right. And then my bad too. Is, yeah, is this oh, your first time? time? Just to make sure. My bad. Is this yeah. your first time in the studio? Okay. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. My first time in the studio. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't like how my voice is sounding. I don't know. I didn't like how my voice sounded. Huh. So I'm like, fuck. And he was like, bro, it's all right, bro. Don't, don't even sweat it, bro. This is your first song. You're going to keep this as a... That, you know, as a little memory up in your head, you're going to find mm. your voice. You're just finding your voice right now. I was like, all right. So the more and more I started to go to the studio, I swear to God, and I promise you not, the second song I made, I found my voice. Damn, that quick? Yeah. That's good. The second song I made, I found my voice. And the song is called I Do It For My City. Oh, it's shit. so great. Damn, is it out? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's on. It's actually on SoundCloud. Stuff, okay, okay. AK went so hard. Do it for my city. It's crazy. God damn. It's crazy. And then, like, how long till you met Mac Will and Dawn? After that? Uh, this was like, I say, at least. Well, no. You know, it's crazy. I've known mm. Don for like, a, like at the at the time I was going to the studio at first. I've already known Don, but I didn't know that he rapped. All oh. I knew that is he used to, uh, he, he was working with my mom. So I'm oh. like, all right, I always seen him shit. And, you know, my mom told him, like, man, I be, rap like, I be rapping and shit. He was like, for real? I need to check him out. Yeah. You know, he seen the first, he seen the songs. But at the, like, by the time he had seen the songs, I had already, I'd already made, like, what? Mm, a good 10, 15 more songs then. Damn. So I was, I was, I was like that. And he was listening to me. He was like, bro, he's raw. Oh, shit. That's all he said. Like, he's raw. Like, I, I can't even explain it. He just got bored. Damn, bro. And That's crazy. shit, Don has shot his, uh, uh, fuck, his Take Shots video at my house. Mm-hmm. At my house. You feel me? With West Stefan. And uh, who else was he with? I think he was with Lil Mark D too. Okay. And mind you, they're all over my house and shit. They're in my living room. I'm like, who are these yeah. people? <laughs> like, there's just a bunch of old heads. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mark D's not that old and... though. Right? Huh? Mark D's not that old though, is he? Yeah, I know. But at the time, I'm in high uh... school. I'm looking at these people. I'm like. Fuck are these people like what? They're in my house doing a music video. There's a whole ass yeah. DJ. Shout out to LAX DJ. Uh -huh. That's how you met LAX, LAX too. Yeah. Shout out to LAX too. Man, bro, like, and then it was so funny because like, I walked up to LAX. I was like, hey, bro, can I fuck with that turntable? And my computer just froze, so it cut you out. But the last thing I heard, you said, hey, bro, can I fuck with that turntable? And then what? Oh, yeah. I asked him. I was like, bro, can I fuck with the turntable? He's like, what? Hell no. Nah. But here, take my card. Uh -huh. He gave me a card. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, bro. And, and yeah. I was like, all right, asshole. And I walked <laughs> off from looking at the card. I'm like, DJ 
J-L-A-X? Huh. If I, eh, I sat it on my Xbox. It was on my Xbox for a cool mm-hmm. minute. Then, next thing you know, um, I had started talking. Like, I don't know what the fuck it was, but Don had uh, talked to my mom. was like, tell your son we want to work. Like, do some music oh, and shit. shit. And my mom came home from work one day, and she was like, yo, my coworkers want to do some music with you. And I was like, uh, uh, mind you, I'm like 16. Like, what the fuck? These old niggas want to do some music with me. I'm like, hey, this is kind of cool. Mm. And shit, man, our first studio sets, bro, I got nothing but game from it. I got nothing but game from it. He was just telling me, like, man, bro, like, shit, man, you're really nice, dude. But, bro, you can be you can be raw. Like, you can be raw, raw. Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there listening to him. I'm like, and you know, at the time, you know how young people is. We'll be like, ah, fuck that, nigga. What you talking about? I'm already raw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, you know, doing this and that, you know, writing a lot more because at the time I could, like I was able to rap hella good, but I didn't write like that. I didn't fucking, I really wasn't fucking with rap like that. I was uh-huh. just like, right. you know, it is what it is. Whatever it comes, it comes. But uh, yeah, he started telling me like, yeah, man, uh, you know, my little cousin Mark D, he got music videos and shit. Coming out with uh, this cat named G Bolin and Mike Sherm. Oh. I'm like, I'm like Mike Sherm. I've heard of Mike Sherm before because at the time that fucking Blue Faces ad came out, and I'm like, whoa. Oh shit, man, those I'm were like, like good days. Fuck. I'm like, damn. I'm like, fuck. You know Mike Sherm, but yeah, you know. Uh, but then what happened? Have... Still, next thing you know, uh, who the fuck? Who else that came? Who came hella late? Oh yeah, DJ LA, DJ LA. <laughs> Wax hat came hella yeah. late, and what happened? What the fuck did uh, Don say to him? Don was just like, damn, Wax, you ain't coming late. And Wax, I ain't invited, bro. <laughs> Wax is hella funny. He'll pull up, and this nigga car go crazy, too. That charger go crazy, for real. Mm-hmm. This nigga engine is dumb loud, like, bro. Oh, shit. You'll know what's him. He'll be like, man, I just have to have some business. Now, let's, let's, let's get to work. Hold up. Come mm-hmm. on, let's go. And it would just be working. But, uh, bruh, oh my god, boy, that, that shit was just too funny. What the fuck, what the fuck did I record? I think we, I, I recorded, uh, Can't Smoke With Us. Oh, and, okay, really? Uh, that early? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Can't Smoke With Us and, uh, fuck, what other song was it? It wasn't Do What I Say, it was, uh, Was it? What was it? And you see, I be making so many songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, damn, I forgot it. But me and Don, I made it. It's on the fucking uh, it's on the goddamn album. It's on the mixtape. But bro, it, the shit was just crazy. I was just like, damn, bro, we went, we went stupid. We went stupid, like real stupid. Then after that, you know. Uh, he started introducing me to, uh, you know, people that started doing shows and shit. Uh-huh. So I'm like, damn. Like, damn, 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 damn. I'm like, damn, boy. This shit wrong. And at first, you feel me? I was just coming because, shit, I just wanted to come. You feel me? I'm a young man. I just want to get mm-hmm. out of the house. You know me? But uh, I started looking. I'm like, damn, this shit did look hella fun. He started telling me more mm-hmm. about it. I'm like, you know what? Uh, I need to get more serious about this. Mm. I need to get more serious about this. Like, bro, right now, when I mean I'm in like a, a a mode to where like I'm in a mode to where right now I can't talk to people. I just gotta, I just gotta get the bag real quick. Get um, the bag, and I, I'll be back. You feel me? Okay. But uh, fair. Wait, come on. Can the camera see me? They can see me? No, not the live camera, no. Nah. It's only seeing yeah. me. That would be too hard. Because <laughs> the way on my shit set up, I can't. Maybe I can shit. Actually, bro. What the fuck is this guy talking about, man? Oh, yeah. Hey, I could just do this. Hmm. 
you you can't see it, huh? But but they can see you like this. But then I can't I can't see the questions though. It's, oh yeah, I can see it. Okay, yeah, it's good. This AKA someone said who is this? This is AKA Solo out of Antioch. Going crazy. We're on fat yeah, woods. Rolling up this uh backwood real quick. Yeah. Shit. <sighs> For all you backwood rollers, I hope y'all be cutting your woods. Mm -hmm. I for sure do. You got to. You got to do surgery on him. But yeah, bruh. Yeah. Did, was Mac uh, Will? Yeah, he wasn't yeah. part of the picture yet, though, huh? Nah, 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 nah. Me and Mac, me and Mac, the way we met, oh, God, that shit was so <laughs> funny. That shit was so funny. Mm -hmm. That shit was so funny. Like, dude, so we're at this female's house. Me, my brother, and my cousin Josh. And we're just chilling, smoking and shit. Next thing you know, she's like, all right, I'll be back. She leaves. And then she comes back and she's like, bruh, there's somebody asking for some soap, this and that. And we're like, well, give him some soap. Like, <laughs> I mean, is it his? And she's like, no, nah, it's not his, this and that. And I'm like, I look at my brother and I'm like, this bitch lying. <laughs> this bitch lying. The so fuck? I'm like, alright, uh, yeah, okay. You just go handle that. We're smoking. Next thing you know, some fucking female comes to the fucking window, knocking and shit. She's like, I'm gonna beat your ass, bitch. Come outside. This and that. We like, mm. oh, who is this? And she didn't walk through the, like, bro, it was so much bushes. To get to the window, you have to get across at least, like, five feet of fucking bushes, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? And she's out the window? Whoa, she's weird. <laughs> Next thing you know, we go outside, and it's Will. And Will had his dog with him and shit. Mm -hmm. And Will's like, damn, bro, that's a clean-ass pit. I'm like, damn. He was like, oh, thanks, bro. But yeah, bro, that bitch in there. She has my fucking soul, bro. And it's something that I fucking need, bro. Like, yeah. I just need to get that back. I was like, you know what? We respect that. We respect that. Fuck that, bitch. <laughs> Let's go to the park and go... Yeah. Down the street. <laughs> <laughs> we went down the street to the park and literally just sparked a whole fucking blunt. It was just smoking. Man. Like, bro, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. Funny ass day that like day. Yeah, that's how it be. So then, ever since then, y'all yeah, been yeah. connected. And then, it took a yeah, while, though, yeah. for Mac Will to start really recording music, though, huh? So he was just more like the promoter. Oh, nah. Mac Will, he was recording music, but, like, you feel me? He was on that, you know, that same route. Like, you feel me? Just trying to find his voice. Just yeah. trying to find the right people. Just trying to find the right shit. Okay. So I told him, I was like, damn, bro. You need to come fuck with me and my people. He's yeah. like, for real? All right. So, you know, one day, introduced him to uh, Don. And, and shit, you know, he was just, ever since then, bro, it's just been a, it's just been a trio, bro. Yeah. It's just been a trio. Exactly. That's really what that cash do. Bowling on you niggas like Tim Duncan back in 02. Bitch, I'm on the road too. Chopper hit his hog too. Screaming me for my cousin. They just threw him in that hole too. I know some niggas that'll cross me like I gotta pray. Fuck niggas almost talking, so I gotta stay. Bitch, I'm in a game like EA. Getting money three ways. Bad bitch, behave. Been up on my grind. You won't see me on no weekdays. Give her a good dick. She running from it like a relay. You niggas is prepaid. Hit him from a close range.